Hi everyone, uh, welcome to today's session. Uh, my name is Mithun and uh, we are going to discuss how to duplicate an S3 bucket. And this is usually done to take up a backup of S3 bucket to another region. Suppose we are working in an India region, um, Asia Pacific, and uh, you have some important files on an S3 and we want to take that backup in another region, maybe in um, uh, European or maybe in the US, we can uh, create a backup of S3 bucket in that. So uh, to get to that point, uh, we have to launch an S3 bucket and we are going to call that as a source bucket. And we have to also create another S3 bucket where we have to create a duplicate or replication needs to be done. That is called as a destination bucket. So we have to open up the source bucket and in management tab, we have to create rule for replications. So once this is done, and once we will go and update and uh, data in the source destination, uh, source file, I'm, I'm sorry, in the source S3 bucket, it will get updated in the destination bucket as well, but it may take uh, one or two uh, minutes to update that information. So we will uh, quickly get into the session. So I'm going to get into my uh, S3 bucket. So this is my S3 bucket and I'm going to create a new folder. So I would say create bucket and the name I'm going to give is uh, affordable web app dash source so this is going to be in AWS region that is Asia Pacific and uh, uh, we are going to enable uh, ACLs and then we will also uh, unblock all public uh, all public access and I would go ahead and acknowledge that so that is also done and I'm going to enable the versioning because we are going to uh, duplicate that information uh, to this destination bucket so we should have the enabling the version enable version should be enabled so I'll just click on create a bucket. So this is already been, oh, this should not be any upper case. So I'm just make it lower case. So I'll just say it's a create bucket. Okay, excellent. I mean, it's been updated. And uh, so that source bucket is created. Now I'm going to create a destination. So, Web app, we can put any any name. So we should avoid uppercase. So I'm just going to update this one as lowercase. So this I want to be on. Okay, I'm going to put this information in East Virginia, you and with the same, I'll enable all ACLs and I will un unblock all the and I'll say acknowledge. I'm going to do that and enable our uh, bucket bushing. Uh, this would be a standard or idle step when we are trying to create a bucket to enable the versioning. So I'll just go ahead and create. Okay, so that means we have uh, we have the source and the destination, and destination is our backup where where we wanted to have this information to be stored. So I will just open my uh, affordable web app that is in asia pacific that would be my uh, source file i'll just click on management and uh, we are going to create a, a replication tools so create replication tool here and uh, we 
can give a name for this one so affordable web app zero one. one status is enabled so this is going to be region is asia the applied to applied to all objects in the bucket and uh, so here we are going to specify uh, a bucket in another account or choose a bucket in this account so i'm going to browse the s3 here and we have the destination and i've just chosen the path so we have two options specify a bucket in another account so we have to provide those information and choose an existing IAM role so uh, I would say create a new IAM role so uh, replicate objects encrypted in so I'm not uh, selecting that destination storage change the storage change the store storage class for the replicated objects no, I'm not selecting that. Uh, replicate time control. So this would uh, replicate time control, replicate 99%, replicate metrics, delete marker, replication, repli so I'm not uh, replica modification sync. So that I'm just going to update that and uh, just click on save. Do not replicate existing object. I would say yes. If there is any objects I've just created, it will go ahead and uh, automatically uh, do the job. And I would say yes. All thoughts. So path completion report destination. So that would be I'm going to take this one destination here. Oh, sorry. Choose path. So if we are giving any uh, role, then uh, we have to give that uh, I am role. Okay. So it's asking for to, okay, it's actually trying to uh, prepare if there is any job that needs to be specified. So I'm not going to do any job here. I'm just getting back to my S3 bucket. So I'll just open my destination. And so there is a file which is created and in source I don't have any information. So I'll just quickly go ahead and try to uh, upload some uh, files and see if it is getting uploaded in my destination so I would s just copy this information and then I'll just go ahead and upload so I have my uh, affordable web abc to nginx.png file that I've just created in the s3 bucket uh, that's in the source now uh, as per our uh, rule it should also be get updated in the destination which is in the uh, west virginia or uh, north virginia location so let's wait for a minute and let's see if what jobs it has been okay so there is a job which we have created uh, if there is any existing information that needs to be uh, get updated
so this replication process usually take a while maybe a two or three minutes so let's wait for it to get updated so let's come get back to my so this uh, affordable web app source is in asia specific region and the destination is in us east and uh, we are trying to co copy the information whatever that we have updated in the source it should also get updated or duplicate information should be created in another country another region and it's nothing but the destination so let's see if As I told you, it would take a minute. Okay, so I've just refreshed that information and it is showing up here. So that means uh, whatever the information. So here in the destination, we are able to get the same information. All right, so uh, today what we have learned is we are trying to create, create an S3 bucket. Uh, in Asia specific and we are also created a destination bucket in West North Virginia created rules on the source bucket from the management tab and uploaded some information in the source bucket and it's got updated in the destination so that's what we are trying to do so this is a small very small example but using s3 bucket we have a number of uh, tasks we can achieve so i hope you are able to understand the information and uh, thanks for watching the video and you have a great day ahead